Freeze with Mr. Welsh. Welcome, Congressman West. Good to see you. Thank, thank you very much, Tyler and Sue. How are you all? Why do you believe uh, what Mr. Welsh says and not what the Secretary of Labor says? Well, it's not about believing what Mr. Welsh says. It's about studying the numbers and understanding that I continue to see these inconsistencies. We continue to see revisions of numbers upwards and downwards. And when I look at these numbers and I compare it to the workforce participation rate, which still remains at a 30-year low, when I look at these numbers of the 7.8 percent and you compare it to the U6 computation, which uh, takes into account the unemployed, underemployed, and discouraged workers, that U6 computation number did not move. It stayed at 14.7 percent. But you, so, are alleging, uh, just, you are alleging not that the, that the data are inconsistent. You are alleging specifically uh, that the president is engaging in a cover-up of the data. You are saying that the administration is actively manipulating that data, correct? Well, absolutely. Uh, look, at, look at what happened with our GDP numbers. Four quarter GDP numbers last year were at 3 percent. Do they you have any basis on which you say that? Do you have any basis well, on what? which you say uh, that? Any source? Anyone has come to you and said this is the case? I mean, do you realize how difficult it is? Would it be for someone in theory to pull off that kind of conspiracy, given the number of people in the Labor Department, given the number of surveyors who are out there, one of whom would probably say, hey, wait a minute, that's not the right number. Well, if you would stop yelling in my ear and allow me to answer your questions, maybe we could get to the bottom of this. When I look at the GDP numbers, which have gone from 4.1 percent, then it went to 1.9 percent, then it was a 1.7 percent. It got revised down just about a month ago to 1.3 percent. We've got numbers that are all over the place, and we don't understand really the direction this economy is going. When I look on the ground down here where I am in South Florida, here in Palm Beach County, we've got unemployment that's above 9.5 percent. To the north in Martin County, almost 10 percent, and to St. Lucie County, it is 13 percent. So I don't see these numbers that people are talking about, and I don't understand how they can come back later in this month and say that they're revising the numbers from July and August, that they go back and do another survey. So I'm very questionable of what we do see coming out of this administration because the numbers don't add up. Even on Thursday, we had an uptick of the first uh, unemployment jobs, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, the unemployment request uh, on Thursday. So something is inconsistent here, and that's what I am questioning. The, uh, you know, this seems to me, frankly, Congressman, and I, and, and I, I don't mean to uh, be disrespectful, but this seems as, as curious in its way, uh, these allegations, as the allegations of Senator Reid a couple of months ago, uh, who said, based on sources he was not willing to name, that uh, he had information indicating that, that Governor Romney paid no taxes. If this were well, to be Tyler, true, Tyler, if this Tyler, were to be stop, true, sir, stop. Congressman, Tyler, let me finish stop. my thought. Did if this were no, to no. be true, Did sir, the would you urge that the president be impeached? Did the workforce participation rate change? No, it's still a 30-year low. Did the U6 computation 14.7 percent change? No. So how is it that we had a drop of three-tenths of a percentage point on the unemployment rate if these other statistics, which are related to that, do not change? And, and don't challenge my intelligence, because I tell you, it wasn't too long ago that we were being told that a video was the, uh, the, the imminence for this spontaneous attack that ended up killing uh, an ambassador. So there are a lot of questions that come out of this administration. And I'm not talking about impeachment. I just want someone to come clean with the process and the methodology because there is a lot of